What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Of course you all know that I've been to the expo. I told it in uh, previous videos. Um, first of all I want to say one thing. Sorry that the video is one day later. Uh, I had a very busy week which I already uh, announced on my channel. I had a lot of things uh, going on with school. Also one thing that happened to me is that I realized that I had bad eyes. So I had to go to uh, the optician which we call it in uh, the Netherlands. I don't know if it's the same in English. But someone who looks at my eyes and sees what the problem is. So um, yeah that was also taking some time. Um, then second of all uh, I've been sick for a week. So I also couldn't really make a video then. But so far uh, we've been to the expo in Houten, which is a place uh, close to Utrecht in the Netherlands. Uh, it was basically a reptiles expo, but they also had a lot of stick insects. And I uh, had a meeting with a guy who had special stick insects, so I bought some from him. And of course, that's what we're going to talk about today. The species that I bought is special. I don't know if you guys ever heard about the Heteropteryx dilatata which is also called the green jungle nymph. Um, of course, we did the video where I asked you guys what species I should buy. Uh, you guys told me a different species, the small um, green species and the blue one and the red one. I think I have a variation of those and I will show those to you right now. They were standing here. Um, I have baby nymphs. I don't know if you can see them, but they are right here. Um, I, I bought eggs from someone online and uh, they already hatched. And these are baby nymphs and they are very, very tiny. But I'm pretty sure that this should be the species, but it just has a different name. As you can see, it's walking. I already have five nymphs right now and I bought 50 eggs. And basically I have these eggs for about one week. So they are already hatching very, very fast. So those will grow uh, pretty fast. But yeah, the Heteropteryx dilatata species that I bought. Um, the normal species is green, which I told you uh, already. But I found someone who breeds them in a yellow color, which is a morph, you could say. And I managed to buy a couple of them. Uh, green morphs, or a yellow morph, sorry. Um, so I got those, which is really nice. I want to tell you guys something about the species. Heteropteryx dilatata is a species where you have to be very patient to breed them yourselves. Uh, and that's just mainly because uh, the eggs take one year to hatch. When they hatch, it takes one year until they are fully grown adult. So yeah, if you basically buy eggs, it will take three, basically three years um, until you have your own eggs from a uh, adult female. So yeah, that's a thing that is very important to think about when you uh, buy these species, because you just have to be very patient. The females lay their eggs in the ground. They don't just throw them off like uh, extratosoma tiratums do. Uh, they lay them in the ground. Um, you can just keep them there or you can uh, take them out and put them in a bin or something um, to let them hatch. Of course, you have to spray the eggs about twice, twice a week. So about twice a week, you have to spray the eggs. They just eat bramble. Um, and I think that's, I didn't really search what more they eat, but I think also oak and bramble. So it's basically the same diet as the extratosoma tiratums eat that I have or the uh, tiragudias. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to tell. They are from Malaysia. So they also live in Malaysia in the wild. They should be there a lot, uh, I've heard. So that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, the next videos, I already want to tell something uh, about the next videos because um, I didn't really buy too many new species, but I got uh, a different form from a species, which um, I will tell in the next video because I just want to keep it uh, secret and just tell you next video and that will be about that um the tiraguillas in the back from me they grew a lot so i will also make a video of that soon uh, and tell you guys what happened to them and how much they grew because i think in a video where i was preparing for holiday i told you how long they were they were around six centimeters and yeah maybe you can already see them out there if you have good eyes but they grew really really fast so that's uh, also nice to tell you guys right now i just want to show you some footage from the heteropteryx dilatata the yellow morphs that i own uh, and i will show you the terrarium that i bought from them uh, the terrarium is around 30 uh, uh 30 by 40 by i think 60 so 60 in height 30 in um uh in or 40 in length and uh, 30 in white width 30 in width um so yeah that's the size of it of course when you buy this stick insects uh, this species 
you have to make sure you have a, a pretty deep ground so they can lay eggs in there also it's very important to get, keep humidity very high because they need a lot of humidity so you will have to spray them maybe one to tw twice a day um, but since I bought them of course they were in a bin where they didn't really have good humidity so the first days they drank a lot I was spraying and they keep drinking and drinking and drinking so they really need a lot of, uh, of water but yeah let's go uh, let's go on to the footage that I made uh, and uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it all right, as you can see here is a very big adult female. Um, this is the species that I bought at the expo. And as you can see, it's yellow. It's not green. You can maybe see some green spots on it. And yeah, the first thing you'll notice is that it's just a very big stick insect. This is the second heaviest uh, insect in the world. Uh, there's one species that is a grasshopper, I think, and that's bigger. Um, as you can see it has also wings on the back um, Underneath you see a big tail. That's where she lays her eggs with um, And another thing that you may notice is that she has a lot of spikes on her body and um, that's just because um, She doesn't really have a lot of defense mechanisms and that's basically her main thing uh, to defend herself and uh, yeah she was just climbing and almost falling down here i put her in her terrarium um, she normally uh, is very uh, quiet in the daytime um, and when i start sleeping and it gets dark they get a lot active uh, on the right you can also see the mill um, a little bit here's the terrarium as you can see it's pretty big it's pretty nice i'm very happy about it um and yeah she just likes to hide and just not be seen that much here's the male the male is a lot smaller also has a lot of spikes just to defend themselves and of course the male has uh, wings uh, just like the extratosoma tiratum here i tried to uh, open the wings but he just didn't want to uh, help me with that so uh, yeah you can see all the spikes on his back just to uh, defend and also a little bit of camouflage of course they are very well camouflaged the male is more like a stick and the female more basically like a leaf um, and yeah i hope they will breed and they will lay a lot of eggs that would be very nice here's a nice close-up of the male which looks very nice here uh, i'm handling and here you can really see the difference in size Basically with all stick insect species the males are uh, smaller than the females which is a normal thing Here you can see them from the front Just looking at me like a weirdo And uh, here's a nice uh, video of the female with some good lightning um, She's just relaxing there on the big piece of wood And you can see the very nice yellow color that she has with her very sticky legs which she will hurt you with if you uh, hurt her so that's very nice so guys i want to thank you all for watching the next video will be about uh, the extratosoma tiratum and i'm not going to tell anything further about that but we are uh, going to do something special with those um, of course the eggs will come out very soon so that's very nice um, and there's basically a process where you can uh, get them to a different uh, form, a different color. And I will tell you guys in the next video about that, how you should be doing that. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to have in the next video. Also in the next video, uh, I'm going to tell about the Tiraguidias, uh, basically the biggest stick insects in the world. And I'm going to show you guys how much they grew. Um, yeah, so basically that will be about the next video. Thanks for watching. Please put a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.